Hi, kids. In our last lesson, we learned about our bills and coins and how we can use them for shopping. So let's get started. Now, let's first revise our coins. This is one cent. This is our penny. This is nickel. These are 10 cents. We call it our dime. These are 25 cents. We call them as quarter. These are 100 cents or one dollar. This is our loony. These are 200 cents or two dollars. We call it toony. Now, let's see our bills. This is a five dollar bill. This is a ten dollar bill. This is a twenty dollar bill. And this is fifty dollar bill. We will use bills when we have to give bigger amounts. Now, let's practice a few more questions to learn more about our currency and how we can use it for shopping and saving. Here is some money. It belongs to Annie. Then how much money does Annie have? Annie has a $5 bill, a $10 bill, a $50 bill, a loony, and three toonies. Now, let's add them all to get how much money she has. 5 plus 10, we get 15. 5 plus 50, we get 65. 65 plus 1, we get 66. 66 plus 6, that is 3 toonies. We get 72. So Annie has $72 in all. Now, let's move to another question. Now, if this money belongs to Sam, then how much money does Sam have? Sam has two $5 bills, a $10 bill, a $50 bill, a loony, a toony, three quarters, and four dimes. Now let's add up all to get how much money Sam has. Two $5 bills make $10. $10 plus $10 makes $20. $20 plus $50 bill equals $70. $70 plus a loony equals $71. $71 plus a toony equals $73. Then we have three quarters and four dimes. Three quarters equals 25 multiplied by three equals 75 cents. $73 plus 75 cents equals $73.75. Now, we also have four dimes where one dime is 10 cents, where four dimes make 40 cents. Adding 40 cents to $73 and 75 cents, we get $74.15. So Sam has $74.15 in all. Now, Let's move to another question. 
Here is a toy with its cost mentioned. We have to show the least number of bills and coins to match its cost. $50 bill is closest to our figure of 56.23. So take out one $50 bill. Now subtract $50 from $56.23. Now we are left with $6.23 to pay now. $5 bill is closest to our figure of $6.23. So take out one bill of $5. Now subtract $5 from $6.23. Now we are left with $1.23. So next, we can take out $1 coin that's a loony. Now, subtract $1 from $1.23. And we are left with 23 cents. This amount is less than a quarter. So we will use two dimes to make 20 cents. Now, we are left with only 3 cents. So we can use three pennies. Yes, we are done. We have selected bills and coins to pay for a toy of $56.23. Now let's take another example. Here is a toy car with its cost mentioned we have to show the least bills and coins to match its cost. The amount is more than the biggest bill we have. That is $50. So take out one $50 bill. Now subtract $50 from $98.55. Now we are left with $48.55. This amount is less than a $50 bill. So next biggest bill we have is $20 bill. So take out one $20 bill. Now subtract $20 bill from $48.55. Now, we are left with $28.55. Again, this amount is bigger than a $20 bill. So, take out one $20 bill. Now, subtract $20 bill from $28.55. And we are left with $8.55. This amount is less than $10, so $5 bill is closest to our figure of $8.55. So take out a $5 bill. $8.55 minus $5, we get $3.55. This amount is less than $5. So, next, the biggest coin we have is a toonie. So take out one toonie, which is $2. $3.55 minus $2 equals $1.55. So we are left with $1.55 to pay now. Amount is less than $2. So, we can take out a dollar coin. That's a loony. A dollar and 55 cents minus one dollar equals 55 cents. Now we are left with 
55 cents. Amount is less than a dollar. So we will have to use smaller coins than a loony. So we will use a quarter and subtract 25 cents from 55 cents. So we will be left with 30 cents to pay now. So again, we can take out a quarter and subtract 25 cents from 30 cents and we are left with 5 cents to pay now. And for that, we can use a nickel. Yes, we are done. We have selected the least number of bills and coins to pay for a toy of $98.55. Least number of bills and coins to pay for this toy can be this. So kids, today we learned making money amounts up to $100 and using the least number of bills and coins for that. Now you can go shopping with your mom and use your savings. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.